You at risk every time you hit the road. Tonight, there are new concerns about the dangers of drugged drivers after a serious crash. Tonight, Jonathan McGowan is fighting for his life after police say that his car flipped sideways, crashing into a Pleasant Ridge neighborhood. And our Roseanne Aragon has been keeping up with this investigation. She joins us now from Pleasant Ridge. Roseanne. Neighbors here say people are taking this turn too quickly. As you can see, the car went right through this fence. But police say the concern is not just about the road, but the presence of drugs in the people behind the wheel. This chilling scene is a haunting reminder. This blue Honda was westbound on Langdon Farm Road at a high rate of speed. The vehicle went off the right side of the roadway, went sideways, struck a fence and two trees. Rico Martin lives right down the road. I heard the explosion over the phone accident. And I come around the corner and it, there it is. <laughs> bad accident. It's bad. Police say the driver is a man in his mid-20s. He's now in serious condition at UC Hospital. But police say there's more to the story. We do believe impairment, drugs and or alcohol could be involved here. One of several OVI-related crashes this year. There she goes. There she goes. In fact, AAA just released a new finding that motorists are now more worried about people driving under the influence of drugs than impaired by alcohol. We've always been concerned about drug driving. You know, 10 years ago, we were dealing a lot with prescription opiates and Xanaxes, Percocets, people driving with those. But I think with the heroin and fentanyl lately, uh, obviously you're seeing a large increase. And with 20% of U.S. drivers today driving drugged, even this lieutenant can't rule it out. Always a possibility it could be heroin. And again, that, that's going to come out as we continue investigating. Meanwhile, these neighbors had other concerns. Traffic was flying through here. You know, there's no respect. Just keep flying through here. This, this needs to be patrolled much tighter than what it is. So we asked police what would be done. District 2 does have a speed wagon set up just down here on the street. And I'm certain District 2 is doing some enforcement efforts out here to try to keep people from, from taking this curve too fast. As you can see, the scene is now clear, but the driver remains in serious condition at UC Hospital, and police say charges could be pending. Reporting Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.